Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Well, today is the day. Cardano has launched its smart contracts. And yes, blockchains matter. So we're going to look at Cardano and what is next for the blockchain, especially after there being no dApps launched on ADA at this point in time. But not to fear, we're going to check out the charts and have a look at that price action. The most important part for everyone holding their ADA the price action. So before we dive into the video, make sure you've hit that like button down below here, bell notification icon after you've hit the subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later if you find it no value from the content. Check it out, hit those links I'll follow, uh, and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for daily crypto updates. All right, let's dive in to the video. Now, a big piece of what we do here on the channel is staking ADA. So if you're looking for a staking pool, check out the Investor Accelerator staking pool. You can use something like Yoroi Wallet. I've got all the links to the staking pool down below, giving you an easy guide on how to set it up. So it's to get your passive income on your ADA. And of course, you can continue watching the content for free as everyone else does to get your uh, Cardano updates, especially on the prices. That's where my main focus is after trading and investing for over 10 years now. Also, the Investor Accelerator, the early adopters is getting close to selling out. Well, we're halfway now, but it's going by about five to 10 places per day. So if you're interested in it, sign up early in the month, get the whole month. And today we have recorded our weekly market update. So uh, if you jump on board today, you'll see that come out uh, in the next few hours as well. So check it out. Links are down below for the Investor Accelerator to learn more about trading and investing. So the investor, well, <laughs> the input output tweet here is on the Alonzo upgrade. We want to know what happens next, what is going on, pricing and all that sort of stuff. Is it a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event? We'll check that out at this specific point in time on the charts as well. One out of two, upgrade successful. So these are the tweets from IOHK. Moments ago, we deployed the Alonzo upgrade at the Epic Rollover. Some people like to call it Epoch. Some people call it Epic, all right? Let's call it an Epoch to keep the haters satisfied. Welcome to the start of a new era for Cardano ADA. All right, we've got all the good news here. We've got the, the blogs, still early days. Everything is going quite well. What's going on over here? This is the blog from Input Output. Pluto smart contract capabilities on to the Cardano mainnet via HFC. So if you see that, it's hard for Combinator protocol upgrade event. So that's what's going on. It's remarkable. It is a remarkable staking ecosystem that continues to grow rapidly. I definitely see that. I love the staking ecosystem after using many other uh, staking decentralized staking services from things like Icon and other projects out there, EOS, Cardano is by far the easiest one I've been able to use. And I think that definitely helps the new investor coming into the space to be able to earn passive income from their ADA. And I don't just mention it because we have a staking pool here, but I've used EOS. It was terrible to use. I've used Icon. Icon was very nice to use, but it just took extra clicks and it had a lot of lockup periods. Cardano is almost seamless. It's beautiful. Uh, according to the statistics from Cardano data aggregation tool, pool tool, the number of ADA staking wallets today stands at 825,755. This represents an increase of 35% plus since June. At the time of writing, the total ADA delegated to stake pools is valued at nearly $60 billion. So that accounts for about 71% of the total ADA supply. So this is all great news. And of course, this doesn't come with any criticisms. Cardano to launch smart contracts today, but where are the dApps? I think this will progress over time. And as we've seen with everything on Cardano, it is slow. Things work slowly there because they're always getting stuff peer reviewed. Whatever you think of that, I don't think it's that great of a thing, but it seems to be working for them. And I have belief and understanding of the project long term. That's what I'm looking for when I'm investing. I don't have to agree with everything that Charles does 100%. And that's their difference compared to Ethereum or Solana. So there is a lot of good here. Yes, there are no dApps and there are still going to be haters out there on, on that piece of the puzzle to get dApps onto the ecosystem. But I think as long as you're aware of these as an investor, and you look at the bigger picture, again, if you're an investor because you're using the staking services, maybe you are just wanting to hold it long term, then you'll understand that this is short term problems for 
the ecosystem. And maybe it's not even a problem because, again, this is just what happens on uh, smart contracts and especially if you are going through a full peer-reviewed system. So longer term, sure. Short term, maybe it's a different story. Looking here, what is coming next? So Cardano officially rolls out smart contracts. What's next according to Charles? With smart contract functionality now live on Cardano's mainnet, Hoskinson is looking ahead to what's next for the ecosystem, including the debut of Plutus application backend, which offers a suite of components that will allow both technical and non-technical users to build on the network. So that's the day. And you know what happens? There has to be a morning after. I should read this in Charles' voice, shouldn't I? September 13th, Monday. We'll wake up. It's business as usual. Lots of things will happen. The network will probably be under a lot more load because people play around with things and test things. That's fine. All right. So that's what happens on in technology. The next thing that's up though, which could spell a little bit of, you know, momentum for the, the price, maybe the Cardano Summit, but we're going to have to look at what the trend is doing at the time. Just because a summit is coming up, it doesn't mean that this is the thing to launch the ADA price into new all-time high territory. We've got to follow the trend on the chart. And if people are selling and the trend is down, then that is the way the price action is going to go. Speaking of other things that are beginning to be built on Cardano, NFTs, Cardano non-fungible tokens. So you can check out this website, cnft.io. Uh, we looked at this previously on the channel, not in a hell of a lot of detail, but you can see uh, the NFTs that are for sale on the ecosystem. Now, if you remember from yesterday's video, I was also looking at other projects which are launching on Cardano or have associated themselves with the Cardano brand. And of course, there are going to be a lot of companies and projects out there that are just trying to create money grabs and easy ways to make money because the the branding and the name of Cardano is so hot. And I think the same will go for the NFTs. I mean, we've seen it through Ethereum, we've seen it through Solana. It shouldn't be new to anyone now. So not all of these things are going to be great. I'm pretty sure you guys get that. But just pay attention to that. There's one day that could be fantastic and the next day it could be nothing. So keep on top of it. And the same goes for those projects, things that are trying to be the new uh, chain link of Cardano, the new Dex of Cardano, the new insert something here of Cardano. That's my view on the ecosystems and how they get built out. I definitely want to look at the charts and that's what I have next. So I want to see higher lows. We got some alerts going off and higher highs. So this is the hour bar that the launch happened. So this was the hard fork. This is at 9 p.m. UTC. So it happened around 9.45. So we're going to look at the hourly bar. And I've got it on UTC down here. So that's what we should be looking at. And that was the exact time that we had the hard uh, the hard fork. The market ran up for a little bit, barely anything. If we went from the bottom of that hour to the top of the next 5%, if we take it from the close of the previous bar to the top around 2% or even the close of... Um, the the peak and then we started to fall back it's only been a, it's about about a percent but not much has actually happened since the the hard fork what has actually happened is the market is falling and it's beginning to break down from support zones now before you get a little bit scared and start selling off absolutely everything just keep in mind that this is a short term time frame we're on an hourly chart here as well we're looking at the hourly chart because i wanted to figure out exactly when the news well, and when exactly the event happened and nothing really happened on the event. The market was in a downtrend overall. You can see here that we're just downtrend and the next levels which we need to see holds are around 220 to 230 in order for us to maintain some sort of strength in the market. And I've got 220 to 230 because if we drop it back onto a daily chart, you'll see where the highs and the lows come in and that 220 to 230 level is the previous swing top. So that came in at 228. So I'm giving a little bit of leeway, especially for any sort of wicks that would happen if you were using candles or you know, just the, the low of the bar. So if we throw it on candles, you can see the massive wicks that have, had formed here and are trying to hold up. So we've got some big wicks to the upside as well from the last couple of days, and they're just hitting out underneath the previous support level. So on a subtle look at the market here, this is what we're seeing. You can see the wicks 
hit some resistance and now dropping back down. So the idea here is we want to see some support hold it around 220-230. Overall, if I had to take a stab at it from what I'm going to be, the way I'm going to be playing the market is I'm looking for lower prices at the moment. Now, I think if we start to break down through these closes and these opens, which is the body of the candle, then we will see probably lower prices tested. So we need to come back and test that sort of 220 to 225, 230 area. So it's not anything huge. If you're just holding it, staking it, not worrying about it, you know, that's probably only 10% in it. Not that big of a deal. Should we see further downside and these lows tested because the market is trying to consolidate? Then we've got lows at around the $2 mark. So that $1.95, that could bring us back about 20% or so. Uh, long term, I have to wait and see how the market is responding after this launch. And again, they're my areas there. The next target areas would be at these previous highs. So that's around that $1.80 through to about $2.00. So they're my two levels that I'm watching. Of course, the major 50%. The major 50% comes in just uh, in between those two at around that 210. So you can see 207 here, 208. So that's right in the middle. So I think if we break down, then we're on the weaker side. This would be a nice area for consolidation, even back to these highs. A long way from that, from those levels at this point. So I'm not too concerned at the moment. But ideally, this would be the solid base here at 220 to 230. Ideally, that's where I'd want to see it. Looking at A to BTC, same sort of deal. This was the bar. So we're on an hourly chart again. This was the hour that the smart contracts will launch. And since that point on the BTC chart, ADA BTC has fallen. So every hour after that has been down, down, down. We look for support and resistance levels. Same sort of deal. This grouping here, this area uh, that the market was churning around, that's where I would want to see it hold up again. And that is around the 5,000 to about 5,400 level. So we're not far off that at the moment. I would be putting, if you were following this yourself, I would definitely be putting in some alerts just to see how the market reacts when it gets to that 5,000 level. And so I'll just drop it in here, hit alert, done. Drop it back to a daily chart. That's getting us not too far from the previous highs. So we're at our major 50%, 4,600. So anywhere from that 46 to 5,000 level, it's still probably a good area at the moment, but I'm going to keep tracking it day by day. It's, there's no guarantees that we're going to get that far down. And especially after we've come up like a good bounce, then this is definitely my my area that I'm watching around that 5,000 level because a swing low has been put in there and the market is on its way down quite quickly now. So I'm going to wrap this up in a second, get this video out to you guys so you can watch it and keep a track of these price points on the markets. Uh, finally, if you want to watch something after this video, check out my other videos or my brother's channel, Michael Pizzino. Uh, he's been doing some great things with TA. He follows Gan, Wyckoff and Elliott Wave in detail. Don't worry about this. This is probably the next cycle, but this is a really good video to check out if you want to understand some uh, timeframes and some cycles for this current cycle of Cardano and price targets that he's also looking at. So I'll leave Michael's link down below in the description of this video. Check it out down there. Don't forget to check out the Investor Accelerator while you're down there as well. These are going by about five to 10 per day. So I assume maybe in about a week's time or so, this will be all gone. And then we're up to this next round of uh, the Investor Accelerator. So check it out. Links down below. And of course, if you want to get some passive income on your ADA, check out the link all down below to stake your ADA for passive income uh, using the Investor Accelerator staking pool. Links are down there, tutorials on how to do it all. I'll wrap it up there. I'll see you guys at the next video. Like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below and Instagram and, and, and on Twitter for daily crypto updates. Catch you in the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.